how do changes in nature impact people? The changes in nature impact on water resources, agriculture, settlement, livelihood, human health, infrastructure and industry. One of the major problems that will arise due to climate change is that of water shortage. Climate hazards like increased sea level makes water saline, floods make river water harmful for drinking, and wells and hand pumps inaccessible, drought result in water shortages. The picture you are seeing here is that of the flood victims of Bangladesh. The flood occurred in 2005. In Pula Island, which was the largest island of Bangladesh, half of the island became permanently flooded, leaving 500,000 people homeless. The polar islanders have been described as some of the world's first climate refugees. The next impact of climate change will be on agriculture. Scientists have predicted that there will be fall of about 10 to 40 percent in crop productivity by 2100. A rise in temperature of 2 degrees Celsius will cut wheat yields by 1.5 to 5.8 percent in tropical and subtropical parts of India like Punjab and Haryana which are the largest producers of wheat. Also, rice yields are expected to fall, especially in the east. India's greatest challenge this century will be to resettle and rehabilitate people displaced by environmental hazards. Poor people will be more vulnerable to climate hazards because they depend on natural resources for earning their livelihood. It has been predicted that number of climate refugees will be 120 million alone. From Ganga Brahmaputra Delta, this will aggravate problems of urbanization and food security. Livelihood. We are all dependent on the functioning of the natural system, either directly or through the measures sourced by it. The adaptive capacity of poor subsistence farming communities is limited, and people close to the coast will be burdened most severely. The Indian subcontinent is one of the most affected areas regarding human health. Up to now, death and disease induced by climate change included malnutrition, diarrhea, malaria, heat waves, water stress and flood. Infrastructure and industry. Cooling will demand more energy. Transportation systems like railway tracks, roads and ports will be impaired in two ways. Flooding either through sea level rise or rain induced floods. Water distribution will be detracted as salt water will flow into fresh water sources. Rising temperature could damage the stability and strength of building materials. Industries in general will be affected by the natural impacts of climate change, but more specifically, fishery and salt manufacturing industries will be hit hardest, as they are activities based on the coastal areas. The tourism industry as well will be affected as it relies on the beaches of India. What can we do about climate change? There are two ways, adaptation and mitigation. Adaptation is aiming to reduce vulnerability, both in the short and the long term. And mitigation is taking actions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Adaptation. There are many adaptation measures. We just tell you some examples. Drip irrigation helps to distribute the water provident, but make sure that your plants get nourished. Planting dates and crop varieties ensure your agriculture yield. Flood defense, like building dams, help to prevent your home from being flooded. Planting green roofs keep your house cool. Regarding all of the extreme weather events, warning systems are crucial in order to merge most optimal. Recycle water and desalination are options to have access to more water. Rainwater harvesting might be an easy way to have your own accessible water. Before you build a house or start a family, think about where you will settle. Avoid the coastal areas. And most importantly, educate yourself of the options you have to adapt. There are different ways by which we can mitigate the effects of climate change. Some of these are building improved roads, improve roads, reduce traffic congestion, improve driving condition and result in lower fuel consumption. We already have been using CNG in two big cities, Delhi and Mumbai. New technologies like electric car will reduce carbon dioxide emission. In 
industries should become more energy efficient so as to reduce greenhouse gas emission. Even today, we do not have a proper waste disposal system and wastes are generally burned in air which increases the carbon dioxide content. So we must have a proper waste disposal system. Planting more trees and saving forests will lead to the absorption of carbon dioxide by trees. Using renewable energy resources reduces the burden on thermal power plants and results in lower burning of coal. Population control measures have also indirectly resulted in lower greenhouse gas emissions. So, what have we learned? Temperature is increasing due to enhanced greenhouse gas concentration. Effects on nature and humans are uncertain but may be severe. Impacts on nature are rising sea level, floods and other extreme weather events. Human challenges, water stress, impacts on health, housing and agriculture. Actions in response to climate change are adaptation and mitigation. Be aware and educate yourself. Thank you. Take care of our earth.